Hello friends, this is Praveen. Welcome to the course on PHP and MySQL. In my last video, I have discussed about PHP files and variables in PHP. Today, I am going to discuss about echo and print statements in PHP. Echo and print statements. Echo and print both are used to output data to the screen. These statements can be used with or without parenthesis. For example, echo, hello friends, without parenthesis, echo, hello friends, with parenthesis, print, hello friends, without parenthesis, and print, hello friends, with parenthesis, all four statements will execute without any error. Let us check it on the browser. This is our Macro Media Remover text editor. We can see our last video created PHP project site and the folder PHP projects. If you are unsure about how to configure Macro Media Remover for PHP and MySQL environment, I strongly recommend to watch my previous video on PHP files and variables. Now create a new file. You can give it any name. I am giving it output.php. Just double click it, open it, start the PHP script, close the PHP script, try to execute all the four statements echo the friends Let's give it a break let output comes in new line control c control v with parenthesis, copy bar the lines, control C, paste it here, change the from echo to print, 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 save it, control S, press function 12 to see it on the browser. We can see all the four statements are working properly. So, print and echo both can be used with parenthesis or without parenthesis. While making a web application with PHP, we often need to echo or print some results in the form of HTML. Echo and print both can contain HTML markup as well without losing its properties. For example, echo h1 hello friends slash h1. Here h1 header tag is used to resize the text. Text weight. And then print b tag is used stable b tag is used hello friends slash b here b tag is used to bold the text both echo and print statements can be used to print php variables as well for example dollar txt1 learn php and mysql dollar txt2 is equal to with praveen echo dollar txt1 print dollar txt2 so let us check it on the browser how these both statements are working. So this is our Macromedia Dreamweaver text editor. Echo. Each one tag is used. Slash H1. 
hello friends let me give it a break yeah so that next line comes another echo print rather print that is print b tag as b tag and then hello friends save it press function 12 here you can see hello friends the font weight of hello friends has changed due to header tag h1 header tag and this hello friend is text is bold bolded because of b tag now check what about check about variables so we must declare a variable dollar txt1 is equal to learn PHP and MySQL space dollar txt2 is equal to with probably two variables are txt1 and txt2 is declared. Now try to print using echo and print statement echo dollar txt1 print dollar txt2 save it press f12 you can see learn php and mysql with probin so Echo and print both can be used to print PHP variables. Differences between echo and print statement. Both these statements are more or less the same. Their differences are very small. First difference is echo can take multiple parameters separated with comma while print can take single argument. Second difference is echo has no return value. Print has return value of 1. So it can be used in expressions. Echo as echo has no return value hence it is marginally faster as compared to print. Let us see it on the browser. Now we will print. Just give it a break here. All first dot dot is used to concatenate strings. Here slash now echo. Plus parameters. Give it a break here as well. Echo learn PHP and MySQL space comma second argument. with Raven. You can pass on as many arguments as using separated with comma. Control S 
save it press function 12 it is working learn php and mysql with Praveen. now try to use the same using print statement just copy it paste it here save press function 12 it was not saved or oh, echo is there so we have to change it to print print all this press function 12 now see pass error syntax error unexpected comma on line 21 what is our line 21 21 we have used print statement and passed multiple argument using comma which is not supported by print that is why it is throwing an error so just comment it now second second difference is echo has no return value while print has return value of one so check it how let us check it dollar ret define a variable which will store the return value of print print Hello. No print. The return value. Just to give a break so that it comes to new line. Dollar RET. Same kind. Give it a break here also. Save it. Press function 12. You can see this hello is because of this print statement and this one is because it has returned one and stored in the dollar ret variable now try to do same thing with echo control v copy it just change print to echo yeah echo save it press function 12 You can see pass error, syntax error, unexpected echo on line 24. What is our line 24? 24 dollar RET. Dollar RET is equal to echo hello. This is our line 24, which were throwing error. Because echo does not return any value, we cannot use dollar RET is equal to echo hello. While print is returns value 1 we were able to use dollar ret is equal to print hello without any error thank you for watching the video in my next video i will be discussing about different data types available in php if you liked the video then please like subscribe